Hi, my name is Cricket. I'm a really old doll. But once upon a time, I had a best friend, and we had so much fun together. We would go on adventures and everything, until one day, my belts came loose. And then my batteries wore out, and then I was forgotten. Until this week, someone found me. I have a new friend, and she fixed my belts and gave me new batteries and a brand new outfit. I am so happy now. Hello, fairy friends and dolly friends. Fairy friends who are patiently waiting for more fairy videos, please know I haven't forgotten you. Please don't unsubscribe. If you see a new video and the thumbnail looks like a antique or a vintage doll, just disregard it. Please know I'm working in my studio and sculpting every day to create new fairy dolls and make videos for everyone. So here we go on with my Cricut doll repair video. Cricut premiered in February of 1987 at the um, New York Toy Fair and her original price was $75, which was kind of a lot. In today's money, that would be $167. And she had, there was a boy um, doll that they introduced, that Playmates introduced, um, which was Corky. And her thing was, she was a talking doll. Storybook adventures, they're the greatest kind. There's no end to all the fun you'll find. You can have adventures and still be safe at home with a storybook adventure of your own. Reading is one of my favorite things to do indoors. Storybook adventures, just for me and you. We'll find such exciting things to do. You can have adventures if you just pretend. All you need is a story and a friend. And she is a hard plastic here, but a softer kind of a rubber for her face so that you get that motion in her mouth. And her eyes are plastic and they are, they do have a little bit of a gloss to them. And those move. There's a mechanism in um, her that I'll show you. I Several months ago, I don't know why, I guess I just went down the YouTube rabbit hole and I watched, coincidentally, a video on how to repair Corky doll. And uh, the Cricut is just the same. So that's how I knew I could use the hair elastic. So I did watch that again um, just to make sure I got it right. And I will link that in the description so you can watch it in case you want to know how to do it. And also to give credit where credit is due. And put in new batteries. The compartment was not corroded in any way. So I was very lucky. But as far as her transformation, she did not come in this outfit. Um, she had on a child's coat that was too big for her. It was dirty. It, was, it smelled. The dress was also a child's dress was too big. She had on white dress shoes that were gray. The bows were coming off. She had on a white hat, uh, like a sun hat with an elastic under her chin and it was kind of covering her head. And it was <clears throat> not really hiding the fact that she was bald in the back. Her hair did not have any yellow to it. It was a gray, dirty gray platinum. And she just smelled weird. Um, I did not have Cricut. I was uh, 11 in 1987. I did not have a Cricut. And I didn't have a friend who had Cricut. So I had no clue. I knew what her face looked like. But I did not know that she was this large. She has the tape deck in the back. And I'll show that. And we had some fun with her. We played some Phil Collins and some Nat King Cole. Every flower, your eyes 
and stars above It's just the thought of you The very thought of you My love and as you can see, her face is still grubby here and I haven't done anything with her hair. And I'm laughing because she's moving her lips to the orchestra. And we, we were just using some random tapes that we found because we weren't going to try to fix her while using her original tape that she came with because it is 33 years old. But let us go on to... I obviously have taken off her, her original out, or well it wasn't her original outfit, but her outfit that someone had put on her, the outfit I found her in, but this is a little corduroy overalls and a little matching or coordinating shirt and she just has on socks right now um, until I can find some little tennis shoes for her and then I put in some coordinating bows. Uh, for her. So that's her new little outfit. She's all fresh and clean. Her face was grimy. That was an easy fix to wipe. Um, her limbs were pretty grimy. Um, cleaned those up. I put some blushing on her and I cleaned inside of her mouth because um, that is an open little cavity there. Well, it's closed in the back, but it had collected dirt and her teeth were dirty. But let us move on to her hair, which was the worst part about her. And Really, for the price um, of $75, her hair could have been rooted more. She could have had more hair plugs than what they gave her. I'll try to show you here how many hair plugs there are. There's like a row here and here. And some going this direction. But basically... What they meant for the hairstyle to be was parted in the middle and in the pigtails. So the Playmates um, company decided that they could skimp on the hair plugs because this would hopefully cover that. And it honestly wouldn't have cost that much uh, more for Playmates to do that. So that would be my only complaint about her. Had I gotten her new at the time, um, that would have been my only complaint. So, basically, by just washing and brushing her hair out, um, I basically performed a miracle because, honestly, this, I keep saying honestly, this was bald. There was some hair here, some hair here, and some hair here. It was all stringy and matted, and just by washing it, and I know this is probably going to sound like an exaggeration, her hair volume quadrupled and that is not an exaggeration if you've dealt with um, old dolls before it's hit or miss sometimes you wash it and you're pleasantly surprised sometimes you wash it and it's brittle and it starts falling apart sometimes you wash it and it's basically just the way you found it this time with a little patience it took about an hour um, it worked out I honestly thought, there I go again, I thought that I was going to have to get a wig for her if I decided to keep her because it, she had that little amount of hair. Um, but just goes to show with a little bit of time, a little bit of patience. Now I'll go over what I did and I did take some pictures so I'll show those now. I washed her hair first with regular dish soap. Now you can't just leave it at that, especially with dried out hair. Just imagine if you washed your hair with dish soap, how easy that would be to brush out. It would be very hard. Dish soap is harsh on hair, even doll hair. But it gets that dirt out and it gets it out fast and it gets it clean. So after I washed with the dish soap, I moved on to regular people shampoo and I actually did it twice. Shampooed it and gently kind of, you know, did this, rub the hair in between my hands, what little there was, 
as it started to separate, I realized that it was uh, getting that volume back. Um, then I used conditioner and I let that sit on there and I laid her on the counter um, flat with the towel and gently brushed. And this is the brush that I used. It's um, a goodie. And let that sit and gently brush through it. Um, and then I rinsed it. <clears throat> and that's when I started to comb it in the way and it's supposed to be and part it the way that it's supposed to be. And doing that I used this um, detangler spray and it has um, it has a pleasant smell too and I actually did trim probably about a half inch off the ends because the ends were so ragged and her hair was so uneven so I really can't believe that washing it and cutting it would still result in the volume then I moved on to this, which I got at Sally's Beauty Supply. So this kind of added to the sheen. Then on the ends, they're still so dry. I don't know if there's any um, saving that, but I did use, whoops, the labels off of it. It's Equate Baby Oil Gel. And basically, I would take one piece, and I'll show you the video of it. So once you've put a little baby oil and you've put it along the length of it, then you'll want to twist it. And it's rather tight. You twist it, hold it, and let, you know, go up and down, like go going downwards with the oil to make it get to the ends. Then let it go. And at this point, it is slightly damp still. And then you scrunch it and then leave it to dry. And it did start to, as it dried, um, it started to cover a little better. I went through and kind of separated out the hairs and it would cover up better. Did a little blushing and basically I used regular blush for that. And these were a set that were together like this on one um, stick one piece of wood well I took the metal pieces off and put it on these dowels because the way I store it in a cup one of the brushes would have been pushing down inside the cup and I didn't want it to get dirty or smash so I just separated them put them on the dowels and what I did was did the cheeks a uh, little on the nose and forehead and the chin a little more on the cheeks and I love doing that as a last step I really think it's really easy to do but really makes such a big difference that'll about do it for this makeover for our Cricut doll here and I believe I got a deal for five dollars I did have five dollars worth of fun and I am very very thankful her hair um, it's almost like magic. It magically transformed. It's the power of shampoo. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're waiting, if you're a fairy people and you're waiting for my fairies, please hang in there. Please support this channel by giving my videos a thumbs up if you watch them. Comment if you'd like. And if you have any questions, I'd love to chat with you. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do so if you want to have alerts for when new videos come out. Hit the bell button. And thank you guys so much for spending a little part of your day with me. And I hope the rest of your day is a magical one. You can have adventures if you just pretend. All you need is a story and a friend.